welcome back to another Aquilas Getting Started video. In this video, we're going to talk about path templating for user access. So some organizations might have a structure where they give access to secrets within specific paths based on some specific attribute. So for example, if I have an account with a specific group of subclaims, and from those subclaims, I want to be able to offer access, let's say read access, whatever it is, uh, create, read, update, delete, etc. access to secrets within their path. I want to be able to do that all at once when I add everyone in. And I can do this with templating rather than giving specific access to each user and to each role. So how is this done? Let's first talk about the side of the admin from Achilles for the organization. So for example, as an organization, I might already have uh, Okta set up. So if I went to my Okta account and I went to, to the people in the organization, I could see basically there are four people here. If this is Laura right now looking at her account and she is the admin of the account, she puts Alex, Jeremy, and Mary in the system. And so for example, inside of Alex's account, we can see that his profile has certain attributes. And in this case, we wanna use the display name uh, as the path with which the person is going to be given their access to their secrets. So this display name is Alex G. So what I would do is I would create first of all, within whichever group they are part of. So in this case, Alex is part of the backend dev team. So in my uh, account, I'm going to match that and mirror what's in my ID, IDP, in this case, Okta. So if I have a folder called backend dev team that matches the group backend dev team, and within it, I have Alex and Mary. So for Alex, we could see that Alex G and Mary B, it's taking that uh, display name in the profile, as the um, uh, as the path label. So that way we know Alex's secrets will all go into here, Mary's secrets will all go into here, and each one of them will only have access to their folders and will have read, write, et cetera, access to whichever uh, secret is there. So for example, we could see here that Alex's secret is here, and uh, this is what we want Alex to be able to see. And let's say we only want him to be able to read it, so he would only have read access, and we'll show how that's done. So. The first thing that we need to make sure of now that we have the secrets already here, we have the back end dev team, we have the front end dev team. This is where Jeremy's secrets are because he's on a different team. So we want to put all those groups, uh, get them all read access to their secrets in one shot without giving each access role its own um, rule. And so we go to our access roles and we click on dev group in this case, and we are connected to the dev group authentication method, which is SAML, which of course is this Okta account that we're connected to. And if we look at the subclaims, we can see that we added subclaims here that match our Okta attributes, as in groups being either from backend dev team or front end dev team. And we have display name has to be Alex G or Mary B or Jeremy H. So two different groups, different users, and we wanna give them all access to read the secrets in their paths based on the access path that we're giving them right now, the rule. So if I click on add, I can go to slash, and if I put it in braces like this, groups, slash, braces again, display name, and we make it recursive, and then I click on read. This is gonna give them access to their group path, their display name path, and everything inside of that. So for example, backend dev team slash Alex G, which you saw we already have those secrets in our account. So if I click on add, that will then go ahead for this role, it's just gonna add for everybody that is attached within the subclaims, they all have access with the groups and display name. So let's go ahead now and open up Alex's account so we can see it in action. So if I put in the access ID for this SAML account, 
I'll go ahead and add, this is in essence, Alex's email, Alex's account. So we just log in. And once we're logged in, right away we can see that it worked properly. So Alex, the only thing he has access to is that backend team, dev team folder. And only Alex G, we don't have Mary B here. So I click on that and he can click on his secret that's there and he can even read the, the value of the secret that's there. But he can't do anything else. He can't create another secret, he can't delete or anything. And the same thing would apply to, for example, Jeremy's account. So if we sign out, sign back in, and this time we go ahead and sign in with the other email address. And this is the Jeremy H user. And this is going to go ahead and sign us into Jeremy's account. And of course, just like Alex's account, we see that Jeremy only was given access to his front end dev team group folder. And then within that, only his uh, folder. And from here, he can see his secrets. So that is how path templating can help you batch enable uh, roles to get specific rules for their paths for multiple users from various groups within your identity provider. Thanks so much for watching.